Good afternoon, people that are watching this. My name is Joas. I'm a team member of uh, Central Perk. In the coming weeks, thanks to the um, thanks to this coronavirus, I'm going to be your um, fitness instructor for the coming weeks. Um, yeah, each Wednesday, I will give you a few workouts that you can do at home or outside, like I'm right now, obviously. And um, yeah, I will try to keep you as fit as possible during the coming weeks. All right, people that are watching this, we have arrived at the first exercise, namely the push-up. I will show you four uh, variants of the push-up, namely, uh, yeah, the woman push-up. I would just call it the beginner push-up, the wide grip push-up, the normal push-up, so that your arms on, are on shoulder width, and the uh, close grip push-up. That is the hardest one of the four. So, firstly, uh, we will start with the beginner push-up. You put your knees on the ground, your feet a little bit in the air, not too much like this, and also not on the ground, just like this. You put your arms on shoulder width, and they have to be on at the height of your face, so as if your face could be in the middle of your head, and on shoulder width. Then you go down, and that's a push-up. And if it's too um, difficult, then you can also put your hands a little bit more in front of your face, and then it's easier. All right, that was the beginner push-up. Now we go to the normal push-ups, but I will start with the wide grip push-up. So you can put your hands a little bit uh, wider than your shoulders. So something like this. You put your feet like this. You have to, um, how do you call it? Your body, don't let it be loose. So tighten up your body a little bit. So, you go like this. You go down and you go up. Then the normal push up. This is the one that most people know. Put your hands on the height of your face, um, shoulder width. Do it like this, you go down, you go up. That's a normal push-up. And then the close grip one, this is the hardest one, and this is for people that are more advanced, if you will. Put your hands in a triangle, on a face height. You go down, and you go up. This is more heavy than the other ones because this will um, be more hard on your triceps. All right, those were the push-ups for today, um, as well as the first uh, exercise. Uh, I think for the first workout, it is just good just to get uh, get to know the push-ups, try them out, do a few, and next week we will advance on this, and I will give you sets and and, and uh, repetitions. All right, people that are watching this, we uh, arrived at the second workout. This will be um, the sit-up. I will show you one variant of the sit-up, just a normal sit-up. So, firstly, if you are a beginner, the best thing to do with your feet might be to clench them under something. For an instance, if, if you're in your living room or in your own room, whatever, and you have a couch, you could put your feet under it or you could put weights on your feet so that you have yeah, more or less, I don't know how you would call it, but more or less resistance, so it's more easy. But if you don't have that and you are a little bit more advanced, you can just go like this. And if you would see it on the side, just have your feet like this. A tip, if you are beginning and you want it more easy, you can put your feet, uh, you can make the, the, the angle less um yeah make the angle less so for instance like this and then it's easier if you want it really hard you could put it like this and then it's pretty hard because your body has to go up a, a lot more all right i will do the normal one so in the middle not too far away but also not too close to my body 
Um, yeah, you go down. You put your hands on the side or, or on the uh, back of your ears. Don't hold your ears because otherwise they might rip off. That's a little joke. But uh, yeah. All right. And you can just go like this. As you make a few repetitions. That's the sit up. Okay, people, we have arrived at the third exercise. This will be the plank, the basic plank. Not so much to say about it, other than it's uh, also a good body uh, workout. So, what you're doing is you will put your um your, your your hands in front of you and you put yeah clench them like this or put them like this but make sure that you don't um tighten them up because that will cost you more energy that you might need later on then you just go like this yeah and this is the plank position so make sure that your body the same as the push-up is a little bit tightened but not too tightened otherwise it will just cost you a lot of energy well, this is the plank. You will hold this for as long as you can, this first uh, session. Yeah, and next week we will improve this and go a little bit further with sets. All right, people. Now we are at exercise number four. This will be the squats. Um, I will show you one version of the squat, but your legs in different positions. So first, let's start with the a yeah, normal squat. You will put your feet on shoulder height. You can put your arms in different positions. You could do it like this. You could do it like this, the classic position, or like this, it doesn't really matter. I will just do it like this. Make sure you really, this is difficult for me, this is difficult to explain, but make sure that your lower back is a little bit like like this, a little bit like a duck, if you will. Okay. Do it like this. Go a little bit like a duck. You go down. Make sure that your legs will be 90 degrees. So that's pretty far down. It's almost like this. And then you go up and you put your lower back normal again. So in motion, it would be, it would be like this. And that's a squat. And like I said, you could do it like this, or like this, or like really wide, whatever. But the best one, and since this is the first uh, first session, just put your feet on shoulder width. All right. For now, we've come at the last exercise for this session. It's I call it para because of the para jumpers from the army. It's basically like this. You know, when you free fall. Okay, um, I have two variants. The first one will be with your arms like this and the other one will be more like this, like the free falling. Um, so yes, this is for your lower back. So it's important just like a little bit like a squat that you really make a little bit of a, something like a bowl out of your lower back and do it as far as possible for you and as far that, uh, that it's still comfortable for you. So, um, you can also do this um, in a few, uh, few repetitions. So like this, or just one long one. And then just count for how long you can hold that position. I prefer just the repetitions that go on and on. So like this. Make sure, that's really important, that you don't touch the ground when you are getting down again. So you go up, and then you go down. But don't touch the ground with your hand, your face, and your feet. Because that is just resting. It has to, there has to be a little bit of tension. So, go up. Go down. Go up. Go down. And the long one. Go up, 
like this and go down without touching the ground. But I'm done, so I can't touch the ground. Right, people, we're at the end of the workout. And before, uh, before I'll close this, I want to give a little disclosure. That is, I'm not a real physical trainer. I'm just a student that likes to work out for his purpose later in life. But for now, I'm just helping you as students, the same as I am, um, to keep a little bit fit during these days and these circumstances. And uh, yeah, really important thing. My assistant uh, helped me to, to, to remember to say this. Keep hydrated during these days. Really important. Thank you.